Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll just tell you a little bit about how I clean my Shuggies cage and what items and products I use for doing it. I'm going to try to keep it very short and hopefully you can hear me because now I have this little thing right here. So, fingers crossed. A couple of things you might want to do daily, or at least I suggest you do daily. Something like cleaning the glider kitchen, of course, and also maybe you would like to clean their wheels daily because they do tend to pee and poop in them all night long. And then, of course, if you have glider kitchens or if you don't have glider kitchens, you might still want to consider removing any uneaten food from the cage the day after. First of all, you don't want it to mold and second of all, if it's just something like treats, snacks, something dry that will not go bad until the next day, if it stays inside of the cage until the next night, they might eat those things before they eat their proper staple. So for example, if I leave the snacky mice inside of the cage and then I just don't clean it up afterwards, in the evening they might still try to eat the dried fruits that are spread out all over the cage and then they will not eat their staple because of course the snacks taste better. You also want to change their water daily simply because you wouldn't want to drink from a glass of water that has been out the whole night either, I think, I wouldn't. If you have the time, I suggest you clean your cage bottom daily and also if that is even possible. Oh, this one tight. I like to clean my cage bottom daily. If I have the time, usually I do. It only takes a couple minutes. I just take my vacuum cleaner and go all over the bottom. I like to clean their cage twice a week. I remove their blankets from the bottom and then I go over the bars, of course, a bit more thoroughly. I remove their pouches twice a week. You could just remove them once a week as well. It's just that I have the feeling that Oreo, probably, likes to pee inside of his pouch a lot and that's why they're really yellow and I just have to remove them. Then for weekly cleaning, you will want to take out their toys and replace them maybe, either weekly or every couple of weeks. And also I like to take out their cage set once a week and just put it in the washer and wash it and just replace it with a clean one. Depending on what wheel you have, it is really important that you clean it thoroughly at least once a week because you know, they get really stinky, the pee gathers everywhere and your gliders will walk through them the whole time and that's how they get their bellies dirty again. So usually when your glider is really stained and it's not just his real color like a caramel, it's because of bad hygiene and a bad diet. If you want your glider to lighten up and just not be stained anymore, then just make sure you keep your cage pretty clean and your wheel of course and you feed him a proper diet. Ramble over. Of course you want to make sure that you clean your water bottles or silos or whatever you are using at least once a week properly and I have a little brush for that. It's this one right here. Just so I can scrub the inside really well and I just wash them with dish detergent Hello Oreo. For cleaning the cage you will need water of course, some sort of cloth or tissues of some sort. Some people use wet wipes, I prefer not to. For daily and weekly cleaning I like to use warm water and add a couple drops of essential eucalyptus oil to it, like two or three, and then I will just use a paper towel or a couple paper towels and just wet them and clean the cage bars or the wheel or the toys or whatever with those towels. So once a month when I'm doing my thorough cleaning I just use around a shot glass full I would say of apple cider vinegar instead of the essential eucalyptus oil. I just add that to the water instead and use that. I prefer it because I know it kills the bacteria but it really does have a little bit of smell. It goes away after not even an hour maybe, it doesn't really stay on the cage. But as I mentioned, I don't really want the cage to be that clean, 
simply because the cleaner it is, the more probable it is that they will overmark and then it will just smell even worse afterwards. Still, I like to use that for cleaning once a month just to make sure that everything bad and dirty gets removed eventually. Also, once a month I like to clean their cage cover as well just to remove any smells from it or maybe it has some dirty food on it. You want to keep a cage cover on your cage not only to protect your gliders from drafts, but also to protect your walls from food they might throw out of the cage. And not only food, might I add. Every couple weeks to once a month you want to remove everything from the cage that cannot be cleaned. Something like cardboard box maybe or something like that. I don't know. I have these cardboard tunnels. I don't know if you can actually see them. Anyway. There are shipping tubes that I like to put inside of the cage. They like to play in them and just have a lot of fun with them. I like to remove those every couple weeks. I replace them with new ones because I can't clean the old ones. First of all, they get really dirty and stinky. And second, they will probably stain your glider as well. I suggest you don't clean your toys as well when you do a thorough cleanup of the cage. Simply because, as I have mentioned in a different video, you don't want to remove all of the smell from the gliders, otherwise they will overmark. Another thing I like to do every couple months simply because my gliders are in my living room and I have a carpet under their cage and I really can't protect that carpet anyway without making it look bad. I use a couple cups of baking soda and add a couple drops of essential eucalyptus oil, mix that really well and sprinkle that on my carpet. Then I let that sit for at least 30 minutes or even more if you have the time and afterwards I just remove it with the vacuum cleaner. Baking soda doesn't kill the bacteria but it does neutralize it and also it neutralizes the bad smells. That's why I like to use it around the cage and not only. I had one accident where Dobby peed on my couch and I just applied baking soda with the essential eucalyptus oil and thankfully the smell went away. So it's really a good tip. I think everyone should keep it inside of their house even if they don't have any gliders just because you can get rid of a lot of smells just by using baking soda. If you don't have a glider kitchen or you don't know what that is, I suggest you maybe do your research on it and consider buying or making a couple because they're really helpful. They help keep the mess con Gesundheit. They help keep the mess contained, but make sure you clean those daily and give them a nice scrub. Then of course, a thing I have been asked quite often is how I wash my cage sets and everything else I have inside for the gliders. Everything fleece made, I just throw in the washer once every couple weeks, the bottoms and also the cage sets. And um, I just uh, use a cold cycle and baking soda instead of detergent and that's about it nothing really special. After taking their cage sets and fleece stuff in general out of the washer, I like to go over them with this little thing right here. It has a sticky surface and I just want it to remove anything that shouldn't be on the cage sets. Something like hair or these little things right here. I'm not really sure what they're called in English, sorry. That being said, please don't overclean their cage if you don't want it to be overmarked the next day. Gliders don't really smell that bad if you keep them clean or clean enough. They have a little scent to them, but I personally I think they smell like kittens, but that's just my opinion. They do smell indeed, but if you clean their cage too often, then you will most probably not like that kind of smell. And other than that, their urine, if you just do a little bit of spot cleaning every now and again, you won't really smell it. If you keep their cage fairly clean, then you will hopefully not have any problems with parasites or fruit flies. Especially in summer. This was my video on cage hygiene. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any more tips to add or questions that have not been answered, please add them in the comment section below. 
Subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos on sugar gliders. Follow us on Facebook if you're interested. I will add the link in the description box below. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or liked it. And thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.